Okay, we uh, are going to brush little baby Annie out. I've been getting a pile of requests to do so. We, uh, uh, <laughs> we all like the idea that she should be brushed out and a little bit cleaner. And you guys are on a chest cam, so I don't have to manage you at all. If we wanted to walk around, you just get the view uh, from me. So you're getting a close-up. So this is what she kind of looks like now. She's, you know, she gets a brush each day. And uh, we'll come around here and see what she looks like. We'll check out before and after. So, you know, she's a little wet. It's been raining most of the day today, quite a bit, but it's dried out now or dried out or it's at least stopped. So let me come around. And uh, we have the choice of letting her eat at the same time, which I may just as well do. And I've got three brushes with me. I've got a lot of requests for a shedding blade. This is a shedding blade. And a shedding blade is kind of interesting. It's got a little bit of a serrated sort of edge to it here. And what that does is it catches the hairs and pulls them, but it's not sharp. It's, I mean, you couldn't, you probably, I mean, if you tried hard enough, you could probably cut some wood or something, but it's not sharp at all. And my worry is for her is that she's still quite small and uh, a little bit bony. She needs a little bit more muscle and weight on her and that it would bother her. So we'll see about this one in a second. Um, the next one up is a very popular request, which is a, a curry brush. And uh, same kind of idea, except it's rubber and uh, it fits on your hand like so. Kind of handy. Get it? It's handy. And this one might go over well. And you could just kind of come around and, and do this. And then you get, you know, a lot of hair. So that one's pretty good. I like that one quite a bit as well. And then my favorite brush, which is the one that I bought at the dollar store, which is just a regular old brush, but it sure does work well. And you just come along and just brush. Now she has a preference for her neck, so she's moved back. If we watch, if I move back just a little bit, and kind of get in there. Oops, looking something over there. But uh, she'll be pretty interested in that. And it fills up kind of like that. So I'll tell you what we'll do here is I'll put this normal brush over here for now. And we're going to give this curry brush a bit of a go and just start. And I'm going to keep the halter ready. You see, it's not too tight. I'm not here to train. I'm just here to convince her to hang around with me. And uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna brush her out a bit. We're just gonna try to get some of this hair off. See if she'll look a little bit better for it. Be a bit more comfortable. I've had a few, few comments about how horses are so uncomfortable and it's up to the human to fix them up. <laughs> And I kind of think, well, yeah, a little bit, I guess. We can try to um, sort of exfoliate. No different than an exfoliation that we kind of, like, I think, you know, that's obviously why they roll and stuff. But uh, I don't see it as a, a high, high priority item. I just think it's, yeah, it's not bad. Not a bad thing to do. Don't have to do it too much. But yeah, she's got a lot of hair that's been just been coming off every single day. And uh, you have to be cautious about going over the other side of a horse, especially these little nervous ones that move around a bit when you do it. Because you're kind of, um, you got them on both sides, right? It's like giving them a hug. Plenty of horses are not the biggest fans of hugs. I think I found a good spot. We should probably rub that a little. Convince her that we're friends instead of just going about brushing all over so then we can come back and let will give a little bit more forgiveness and tolerance for hassling her on other parts of her body so we're already getting a decent amount of hair here just on one side so let's continue to work this 
brush. Thing is, is it fills up quite quickly. So that leads us to, well, how about the shedding blade? And this is the purpose of it because it doesn't really gather hair too much. And I'm just gonna go gentle. You see, she's not the biggest fan. Moving away a little. But we'll keep trying. I think it pulls here and there, it pulls some of the good hairs out too. So it probably doesn't feel too good, but if it works out, I'm really happy. Um, oh, she's getting a little pinchy back there, so I have to be cautious. So she's got, I can feel, when I rub over top of here, I can feel it's kind of, it doesn't, it doesn't go smooth, like a, a horse that's got a lot of muscle or, or fat even, you know, it'll just slide over quite nicely. And so look at these elbows that these stick out here and these big bony things. So this kind of brush doesn't seem to feel very good. Let's come to the other side. Let's see, she had a little jump there. And we'll just uh, continue to, she likes this. This area is a very popular area. I'm just gonna flip her mane over there. And uh, this is where this brush might come in real handy. But why is she so itchy is the question. So good thing about grooming for sure is that we can give a good examination. Yeah, she's really pushing into me. I'm all the way against the wall. So I'm just gonna ask her, I'm gonna push, push on her. Just say, don't come into me. Just stand there, I'll, I'll get it. So I'll hold there. So my hand came in and the rope We'll touch her a little bit and she'll get worried. I'll just say, you can just stay over there. I'll rub it enough. Cause I don't want to, it's metal. So I don't want to get through her skin even though she's super itchy. I'm just going to have to you know, be cautious and we'll examine this a little bit. But, you know, we've been delousing and deworming over the past little bit. Uh, about a week ago is, when she was dewormed and she was deloused just a little before that. So there is a chance that if she had any eggs on her, they would have hatched and they might be kind of living inside of this area. It's hard to say, but she's really kind of pushing in. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go a little crazy here and uh, you know, put a little energy into this. I'm kind of getting whew, covered in hair myself. Now shedding blade is very effective for sure. I've got my other hand here, in case she wanted to escape, I could hopefully pull her nose in a little. It's always kind of ready. Now it feels bony, like I can feel her ribs quite a bit in here. So you don't really want to, you don't want to kind of go like this, like, like an xyloph xylophone, where, you know, you can kind of go, you can see her sort of flinch a little, so I go a little gentle, a little more gentle, we'll just keep taking off hair. And you'll have to trust me that we've been kind of brushing, you know, every day, a little bit. And this is probably the most um, I've taken off, mainly because I'm really putting something into it. And uh, yeah, she's moving. It's not comfortable, you see, it's not, she's not the biggest fan. Now, some might say, well, are you, you know, maybe you can't touch her there, and I can. I can definitely touch with my hand. You know, if I come in and I'm gentle, I can touch, you see, she won't move. And so a lot of acclimation to her, touching her has been with the hands. And this doesn't feel good. I don't think it feels good for a lot of horses. Um, and that's just the way it is. We just, <laughs> holy, but they put up with it. So I'm just gonna keep trying, cause she does have to put up with it sooner or later. We might as well make it today with you guys on board. Everybody being very encouraging to hurry up and get this furry job done. And I'm not going to really hassle her too much with this. If she starts avoiding it even more, then I'll switch out. I'll just switch, that'll be okay. But she's kind of looking in, you see she just looks like that. And she says, do a little more up at my neck. So sometimes, you know, if we want to give them a hard time somewhere else that's uncomfortable, we can um, come back to a spot that they really want done and go at it a little bit. 
I'm going to switch up because I actually am kind of uncomfortable with how much I'm doing with a metal brush. But with a little rubber one like this, we can we can really rub in like this and be okay. And be careful not to bang her scapula here. As I'm doing this, I'm going to come around. She's really liking up here in the main, so when I de-louse her next, I'll be concentrating on this area. Nothing really appears to the eye other than sort of this little patch of baldness here, but I don't see anything in there at the moment. No sores, no bugs, no ticks. Now her head is going away a little, so I have to be cautious of that, but so far she's just kind of leaning in and we can really rub this pretty good. Okay, let's switch sides. Because as the as the groomer, we're you know like we're we're lead horse, I guess you could say, and the lead horse always leads the grooming, which side we work on. She's kind of leaning in on this one. Hopefully the footage is turning out okay. I can't really see it when it's on my chest like this, but you guys can get an idea of brushing. So I'm gonna rub her tummy a bit. And that's pretty good. Okay, I need a break. <laughs> this looks a little better. And, you know, if you can really get the places that they want, well, you can create all kinds of good draw all day long with your horses. Indiscriminate brushing tends to not be appreciated nearly as much. In fact, I've seen many horses try to avoid it and they look pretty miserable sometimes. Let's give her a second there. Hand, it's, it actually is kind of hard to do when you're really pressing in. Hand gets tired. So yeah, it's mainly up in the middle part here. So I'm just gonna go a little crazy. Just really rub in there with this thing. Cause she's not avoiding it. You know, she's... She's sticking with it. Holy moly. We'll brush out her mane and forelock a little and work on the top of her head more with my hand. I tend not to use brushes too much up this way. I reserve them for back here. Let's get that tummy figured out a bit. And you can feel it when this starts to fill up, it'll just slide across them. So you just kind of dump it out and get a little bit more done. Yeah, a little like that. Could probably do a bit back here. She's sort of leaning into me a bit here, so I can rub a little harder. Always be careful of the stifle area. Personally, I think it tickles. <laughs> I don't know though, but I think some horses feel quite a tickle when you do that. So be careful and cautious. That's all. Okay, coming around. Let's try the other side a little. Oh, I shocked her a little bit too, too quick maybe. Now she doesn't like her legs done yet. Anything below the knee really gets her worried. You see her face will come in and she'll be like, what, what are you doing, human? So we'll stay above that for now. I'm not in any rush whatsoever. Ooh -wee. Let's get a little more done here. And again, she's kind of ribby, so we want to be careful. She's already reaching with her face a bit. And I'm sort of on the wrong hand. Because if she were to try to have a little taste of human, uh, I've got the wrong hand to block. So what I'm going to do is put my shedding blade in my pocket. 
And we'll come over here with my left hand and scrub. I know a lot of people get a lot of satisfaction de-shedding a horse. And I agree in a way. I mean, it's kind of cool. Watch all this hair come off and hopefully you can make another horse out of it. Sort of thing is the joke. I don't know about that, but you know, it's a lot of hair. So watch her face as I kind of, I'm going to push back a little more towards here. So watch, we'll watch to see how she acts. More to the back end now. So she doesn't care. Oh, there's a, there's a chick, but she's pretty grungy back here. Yeah, she's moving away. She says, it makes me uncomfortable. So there was a lot right at that stifle area there. We'll tell her we're sorry and we'll check in some other spot she likes. Okay, so we have to sort of repair a little bit of that concern. Say, look, I'll groom you, but not only in this place that you want. Sometimes we gotta tackle a little bit of the uncomfortable spots too. And then, and then leave it be a little. Okay, careful in the stifle. Again, she's not that comfortable yet. But we are doing pretty good. All right. All right. So that's a little better. Let's get a little more of our chest done, maybe. Hard for me to do it and get you guys see in the picture. A little better. I think that's pretty good. I think I'm going to grab my nice brush. Come along, big girl. All right. We'll grab this brush here and start at the bottom. Work our way up, get these little bits of knots out kind of thing. There we go. She doesn't have much in here. It gets brushed so often that it doesn't really have time to get too naughty. There we go. There. Let's clean up that little bit. Take out the hair. It's all yours. Yeah. For the birds. Pretty nice. <laughs> I'm being a little indiscriminate now. I'm just kind of going over things a little bit quicker to uh, get her, uh, as usual, just every day a little more acclimated. Look at that. That is a lot. So we've taken off quite a bit of hair. I'm quite happy with today's haul. <laughs> Horse hair haul. Okay, oh, it's all right. Let's get the bottom done first. Work our way up the main, the bottom. Ooh, it's just luscious. Look at this part here. Ooh, it's going through like butter. Oh, not there, not there. Let's get a little more out. Luckily, horses don't really mind too much when you play with their manes a bit like this. Sometimes I guess it relieves a bit of itch. What a gorgeous mane. Okay, I'm gonna go a little careful. Halter's in the way. Oh. Nah, I'll get to that with my hand. I'll wait on that. I'll just brush out a little bit more. This is more indiscriminate. Again, it's not for her. It's more of just sort of getting a section of her body done and not, not listening to anything she has to say. Like, stop it. So we'll watch her face, kind of, or I'll watch her face. I don't know if I can. I'll try to face this way and see what she thinks as I sort of work 
back here. Me facing her, my body has to face her with the camera on, so she might be a little less inclined to reach back because I'm a little bit more over here. But maybe she can watch and that would be okay. I'm just working on her lower leg now, actually. Or upper, upper back leg, not really the lower. Okay, I've got a full brush again. Let's take that out. I really like this brush. I know it's just, it's not the traditional curry combs and and whatnot, but boy, it sure works a treat. And it's soft, right? Cause you've got these little, little soft bits on there. So you're never really poking them. Even if, even if I were to go this way, it sort of just glides across her ribs compared to the metal one. You get those, those bits and pieces out that we see. Take off more hair. Wowzers. And I'll do this tomorrow and it'll be probably the same amount of, of uh, hair. It'll be ridiculous. I'll come out here and I'll just be at it again. See, I kind of let her go a little bit there. I let her walk a little, but she chose not to leave too far. Look at her mane though. I hope the colors really shine through on the camera. Just the variety of colors that live inside of this mane, you know, right in here. It's just really pretty. Catching the light just right. I really like it. Poof. Uh, a lot of people talk about having a horse uh, with their mane on one side. I've had a couple of people come and they well, you should, you should train a mane to be on one side. I don't agree with that at all. I like a horse balance personally. Whatever way it wants to fall, let it fall. I don't train a mane. You know, just let it kind of do its thing. Whatever way, whatever way they shake it, I try to think about that. And it looks gorgeous, you know, it's beautiful. It's more indiscriminate brushing here and there. She's like, yeah, stop it. You can see. Let's go down the leg a little. Right there. All right. Just a little back and forth. The other thing about this brush it works really great for just kind of going back and forth like this. Just kind of scrub in and out. Look at that. Look at that. Comes off in this big tuft of bird's nest material and I've seen the birds coming around they come around and they they steal some oh we see we bugged her stifle a little there just come in here and just light rub all right how about that tail shall we do the tail everybody what do you think nobody can answer me because you guys are watching way after the fact but I think everybody's yelling at the screen yes so let's give it a little go. We're just gonna start at the top. And uh, the unfortunate thing is I've kind of got her on this halter, so I can't kind of grab this adorable little tail and sort of go at it like we would normally, where we grab and start from the bottom. But I could maybe pull it over a little. It almost looks like it's been crimped, you know? You know that old style of, here, let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know. We won't bug you too much. I'll just do a little, okay? But uh, the veterinarian, my vet, had come and he'd come. He, um, he went ahead and grabbed her tail and just sort of held it a little and she did really well with it. So she wasn't really feeling a lot of, a lot of bother from that. I might leave her at that. She's done so well. Can I just do a little bit of your forelock? I know, but you've done this before. I know you can do this. There we go. What a pretty girl. Good work. Okay, so that's nice. Oh, that's good. Getting a little bit more up there. Oh, you're a good girl. Yes. Okay, so that's good with the brush. 
hey, you wrecked your hairstyle. And I can come in with my hand a little bit here and she might be a big fan of that. I rub the eyes like I usually do. Oh, I had some hair come right into my face. All this little fluff comes off of these, these horses. And I just scrub a little with my hands. Oh, there we go. We've got a reach. Go roundy round. She can, she can tell me a little bit where she's thinking. It's more back here, she says. Oh yeah. What <laughs> a cutie pie. So we've wrecked the mane now. Can't have that, can we? We'll have to fix that a little bit. I don't know. How about the other side? Oh, I know. Yes, you're, you're very brave. Oh, that's good. That's good. Come around here and really get this solid. Oh, she says not so much the ears yet. She needs a shake. You want a shake? There you go. She needs more. She's not quite got it. Okay, let's move in. I know, I know, I know. So there's a little, little scab or something here I'm looking at. Oh, I'll just leave it be, maybe. Hmm. That's good. Rub the cheek. A lot of horses love this. Get a good cheek rubbings behind the jaw, under the jaw, right there. Oh, yeah. She needs a shake, I think. I'll take the halter off. Let's let's finish up so she can have herself solid shakings. I'll just get this a little bit sorted just for fun. There we go. Okay, okay. You look great. I know, hang on, hang on. Some horses have a hard time shaking with a halter on. It moves around on their face and stuff. So we'll get that off. I'll just rub a little where the halter was. Hopefully she'll let me, but I know she wants to have a good shake. So there we go. And back, back to food. That looks a little better. I think she looks a little bit, a little bit cleaner and maybe a little less fluffy. Hey, it's just I want to finish off something with my hands. No.